may be seated. As I said, it's a very exciting day as we welcome 11 new members into the life of United Church this morning. So, as I call your name new members, I invite you to stand or raise your hand if you prefer. Keep it up or remain standing till we have recognized everybody. So first, Joanne Bauer. Joan Casaw. Ka Ka John Krause. And Barbara Grant is not with us today, right? Good. Okay. And Rose LaPlante. Steve LaPlante, Corby Spielberger, Sherry Spishak Spielberger, Ron Yankowski, and Suzanne Yankowski, and Pat Reed. Now, United Church of Congregation, I invite you to join with me in the congregational response, welcoming our newest members. The response is on the screen. We welcome you with joy in the common life of this church. We promise you our friendship and prayers as we share the hopes and labors of the Church of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, May we continue to grow together in God's knowledge and love and be witnesses of our risen Savior. Amen. Friends, in the name of Jesus Christ and on behalf of everybody at United Church of Sun City, I extend to you the hands of Christian love welcoming you into this church. And this, again, is where the congregation goes wild with applause. Yay! <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. After worship, new members, we will gather over here by the God is Good banner. We'll be taking pictures, and I invite anybody from our congregation to come over as well to shake hands and to say hello and welcome. And now I invite us all to join together in our United Church of Christ statement of faith. We believe in you, O oh God, eternal spirit, God of our Savior Jesus Christ and our God, and to your deeds we testify. You call the worlds into being, create persons in your own image, and set before each one the ways of life and death. You seek in holy love to save all people from aimlessness and sin. You judge people and nations by your righteous will, declared through prophets and apostles. In Jesus Christ, the man of Nazareth, our crucified and risen Savior, you have come to us and shared our common lot, conquering sin and death and reconciling the world to yourself. You bestow upon us your Holy Spirit, creating and renewing the church of Jesus Christ binding in covenant faithful people of all ages, tongues, and races. You call us into your church to accept the cost and joy of discipleship, to be your servants in the service of others, to proclaim the gospel to all the world and resist the powers of evil, to share in Christ's baptism and eat at his table, to join him in his passion and victory. You promise to all who trust you forgiveness of sins and fullness of grace, courage in the struggle for justice and peace, your presence in trial and rejoicing, and eternal life in your realm, which has no end. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto you. Amen. And now I invite us into this time of silent prayer.
dear Lord, we are grateful this day for each and every, every person gathering here to worship you, friends and members of this congregation. Today we lift to you our newest members and give you thanks for their spiritual journey, bringing them to this very time and place. We think about and pray for churches and faith communities everywhere and celebrate the fact that we are all connected and blessed by your Holy Spirit. Together, Lord, we can make a powerful and positive difference in this world as we serve you, caring for others, and sharing your good news. Now, Lord, we ask that you hear us as we join our voices, praying together the prayer we have been taught to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 